my friends are heathens, take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike Ruthis, and I'm back. This week I got a Supergirl. Uh, again from DC Direct, Craft and Chip, Kodo, Bukia. And of course, I, I know I'm going to say this wrong each time, so... But, um, real cool figure. Came out a few years ago. DC Direct, yeah. Um, I picked it up at a toy show. It's a 1-6 scale pre-painted PVC statue. And, uh, it's phenomenal. It's great. Um, I paid $50 for it in the box. And, uh, they keep telling me it's worth a lot more, but uh, I'm keeping this. You know, the, uh, collector, I bought this from her. I should say the mother. Her son passed away, and she, she was selling all his collectibles, and, uh, I, it, for, even for that point, I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll buy this one. I got the Starfire as well. And these are going to go right on my shelf, which they are. Because you know, they're real nice. They're real uh, detailed and everything. And uh, this Supergirl is phenomenal. So uh, let's get some close-ups of her. Guys, real quick, here's the box that came in. So the box is uh, pretty big. And uh, a lot bigger than her, anyway. And uh, I just rotate it. She has a side view of her. Get my, my hand out of the way there. I think uh, the back shows different angles. Some computer graphics on there, some Japanese ring, which I can't understand. Same thing on the side here, a nice little bio. You guys can pause that if you want to read it. And there's the front again, and she goes in there, you know. But you guys know me, I can't keep this in the box, I gotta put it out. So, well, let's do those close ups. Alright, so there we got a close up of her. Uh, and I'll pull her up even more so you see all the detail in there. Real nice figure. Uh, not too many colors. Not It's not, I guess, cell shaded like uh, Starfire, but you get the gist of it. You get the whole deal. The hair, I think, I know is like some blonde and dark blonde and yellow combined. And I'll turn it around real quick, too. And uh, very nicely done. Very cool. Uh, they stamped on that Supergirl logo pretty good. Supergirl, Superman, same thing, same logo. Of course, her breasts were like popping out in the air like that. But uh, it, it is Japanese made uh, figure, so that doesn't surprise me. And um, real nice figure, real cool. Um, you go back a bit and then you can see, be see it better. And uh, she's very tall. And uh, what, I, what I should do first is I'll show you guys the back of it real quick. Nice final cape, and it goes all the way up. All the way up. Not like the song, though. Um, but yeah, they did a great job on it. I, re I mean, I really like it. Uh, if I didn't like it, like I said, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have bought it, you know. There's certain fan people that get it because uh, they want to keep it sealed. They want to, you know, lock it up or, I guess they, you know, for future value, which I understand. A lot of people do that, you know, they invest in figures. You know, but if I like something a lot, I'm going to buy it and put it out. Either display it on a shelf or a dresser or something, just like Transformers. Like, I don't, I don't buy every figure. Yeah, there's certain figures I'll buy that I can resell later, but more times than, than one, I'm going to buy a figure because I like it and I want to display it, you know, and I want to have it out, you know. It's just from going up with it, too. But the Supergirl is just, you know, some amazing detail on her. You know, just the, the way she's posed. Like, she's not, you know, I guess she's got some downtime, so. But uh, a lot of detail, a lot of, uh, they did a good sculpt job on her. Yeah, she's very tall. And uh, actually, you know what, it's not that she's tall, I think she's standing up straight. Starfire was bending over a bit, you know, in that position. And let me, you know what, let me bring Starfire over and you guys can see, you guys can see if you see the difference. If Starfire was standing up straight, which she's not, she's like, you can tell she's bent over a bit. She'd be just as tall as the Supergirl. Not the Supergirl, Supergirl, so. Supergirl, you know, they... There you go, that's better. Why isn't this in focus? Hold on a second, guys. Alright, now we finally got focus. Alright, good. So, yeah, if Starfire stood up straight, she'd probably be about the same height. Maybe a couple inches shorter. But uh, they definitely made the Supergirl tall. 
I guess he's supposed to be tall because Superman's tall. So, he's supposed to fuck Starfire back over here. Um, but yeah, they did a great job. And um, definitely recommend this figure. It's not as anime looking as the Starfire, but uh, it's still good. I think they took it off of someone's artwork. It's got a little bit of an anime vibe, especially with the hair. But other than that, though, it's not as much. Not as, uh, the details aren't as anime as the other ones. But uh, still a great figure, and it's st still worth it. If you guys can find this one, definitely pick it up. I know it's harder to get than the Starfire one. and Because uh, I guess, you know, they, they don't figure Supergirl is as popular as Superman, but I think they're, they go 1-1. One one, so, anyway, guys, I'm Mike Ruthless. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you get the statue, definitely, if you see him, definitely get it. If you get a good deal for it, anyway. And uh, let's get another close-up real quick before we go. Just uh, hold on, let's see if this works. And boom, oh, look at that. Instant close-up. But I'll pull her up a bit more so, so you guys can see it. But there you go, there's a nice close-up there. Uh, real, it looks like it's a drawing come to life. They just... They made a new statue, which is pretty much what they do. But I mean, talk, I'm talking about like the eye detail, the hair. That's how someone would, you know, they draw it first. They take take it into Photoshop, paint it up, color it up. And uh, they just, you know, redid it here. And there's the, there's the anime styling of the hair right there. And uh, they did a great job. You, know? you got that belt loop that moves. <laughs> All right, so there's a Supergirl. Let's end it like here, right there you go. Supergirl from DC Direct. Guys, I'm Mike Ruthless. I'm out. We got uh, some more Transformer reviews, reviews coming. And uh, whatever else I can find, I'll review. You know me. So, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time.